We're here at Jackson Center, Ohio, and this is the Lumina Plaza 2019. This is Memorial Day weekend. We had early arrival, so we were able to get here for the weekend um, a couple of days early before the event actually starts on Tuesday. And we actually came in Thursday and had a, some service work done in the Airstream while we were here on Friday and then moved out to the field on Friday afternoon. Well, it's morning at the Airstream factory and we're on the airport and we're going in for service today so they should be coming in a few minutes and to pick up the trailer. So we've got the last of the warranty things to take care of and figure we're going to be here for Illumina Palooza and why not just get all that taken care of at the same time. So that's what we're doing today. So hopefully they'll show up in a couple minutes and we'll take the trailer. This is the Airstream Factory Service Center. If you're an owner of an Airstream, you can book an appointment here and bring your Airstream in for service. They do warranty work and non-warranty work on your Airstream. They will also do um, upgrades and modifications and collision work. There's Monty and Zephyr, and they're here at the Airstream Factory with us, having fun, or whatever kind of fun the dogs have, but they're having it. And Diane's in the truck, and we're just kind of hanging out, waiting. Well, there's the Airstream in for service. Um, they're working on today, working on a little punch list of a few things that are to be covered under warranty that we wanted to get taken care of. So, hopefully they'll be done today. If not, they'll finish it up next week if they have to wait for parts or anything. Okay. Shouldn't be much longer. This is the field, the uh, parking area for the Lumina Plusa. You can see our trailer right there with the F-150 and kayak. This is the Airstream factory and we're just kind of taking the dogs out for a walk. I'm just kind of taking the dogs out for a walk I should say. And we're kind of wander around here and see what we can see and, and kind of throw a little bit of a blog together for uh, this video. So come on, follow along. If you find yourself on Pike Street in Jackson Center and you happen to be at the intersection of Airstream Drive, then you know you're at Airstream in the Airstream factory, which is right behind me here. And 
sorry if you're getting dizzy, across the street here. So this is where, this is the world's um, headquarters for Airstream and they build all the trailers here and all the motorhomes and it's we are here for Illumina Palooza and it's a pretty unique event um, they have it every year at the factory and this is our second year attending and this year we hopefully we're going to blog a little bit more of what we what they're here to do and what we've been doing but it's pretty neat and I'm going to take you kind of a, through an unofficial tour of the area of the Airstream factory now you can't take cameras inside the actual factory tour, which is too bad, but I would suggest if you're in the area to come down and, and take the factory tour sometime. It's worth the while, it's free. But I'm gonna kinda of wander around some of the outside of the place and kinda of show you a little bit of what I know about what's here and, and what we might be able to see. On this side of the road, you have Airstream customer service. And this is the parts area over here. And in the back, and we have to walk around a little bit. Back there in those blue buildings with the garage door is where they build the Bambi trailers and the Class B motorhomes. So behind me is the Airstream storage uh, lot. This is where they're going to park the trailers that are finished that are waiting to be delivered to a dealer. Um, so you're going to get to see a little bit of a lot of different models parked over here. And maybe something that you're not supposed to see. Who knows? So this is new. The Flying Cloud gets a new badge. A little bit more contemporary um, with some different colors. Airstream also stores some units in here that they um, are keeping for their heritage. Case in point, this is a Gen 1 base camp. You can recognize it by the slightly different uh, back end with the split doors instead of a single door. And this is actually a completely fiberglass trailer with aluminum skin on the outside of the fiberglass. So it's a unique trailer, um, something they only built for a few years in the 2000s. Uh, and then they've replaced it with a new modern version of that that's a fully aluminum trailer. This lot we've got 2019 Sprinter cutaway vans uh, parked and these are waiting to be upfitted into Class B plus uh, the Atlas uh, motorhome and one of the first things that Airstream does in one of these vans is they take the rear suspension and they take out the rear leaves and swap it out to an air suspension. Uh, they upgrade the wheels to aluminum Alcala wheels and such. So you see actually over and that section over there, those four or five that are lined up, already have been going through the service center and have those updates done. This is pretty cool. Um, this is a 20-foot Argosy motorhome. I actually believe this was here last year, too. Uh, it's kind of unique. It's what they used to refer to as peanut because of the short wheelbase. And I was wondering if this one's here for restoration or if it's belongs to somebody that works here. But it's a pretty neat find. Here's a special edition Airstream. Let's see if we can see which one it is. You can tell by the... It's got a wrap on the uh, front. Um, stone guards. So this is... Mr. Knox, 125th anniversary edition. 13 of 125 built. Very cool. So behind me is a mid-80s Airstream funeral coach. Back in the 80s, Airstream was looking for place, ways to leverage out their motorhome manufacturing and they built these, a limited number of these funeral coaches over, I think, a period of three or four years. And there's not very many of them were ever built. And here's one example here that's uh, at the Airstream factory that's um, hopefully going to be restored and put in the museum. It's kind of neat. You can see in the back there's a, uh, a door on the side and that's where the coffin would go in and then the rear um, back of it would open up and that's where the flowers would be stored. And the family would ride in the coach part of the front on their way to the funeral home. This is Wally Bine and Stella Bine's uh, Airstream, one of the ones they use for their caravans. This is known as the Gold Airstream. 
Jackson Center is a very small town. It has two stoplights and one of them is for the Airstream factory so you can get an idea about the size of this town. Um, so having a manufacturer like Airstream make their headquarters here is a pretty big deal for the town and as you can see they uh, recognized that in 2002 by giving Airstream this monument. This building over here is where they build the base camps and the trailers you see stirred outside here are completed shelves without interiors that are waiting to go into the assembly line to have the interiors fitted. This row of trailers here are Bambi's single axle trailers that have been the shells are completely assembled and they're waiting to get the interior fitted out. That operation is handled across the street in a separate assembly line. This first trailer right here is a European spec Airstream. You'll notice it has a slightly different frame and hitch assembly in the front and it's also a narrow body trailer. You can also see that it sits a little lower than the trailer sitting next to it and the wheels are different than what you'd see in an Airstream in the U.S. And I noticed something a little bit unique about some of these Airstreams that are in the midst of being assembled. And there's a new badging on these sports called the Carvel, which is an old Airstream name. So my guess is Airstream is bringing that back as a new model for the, you know, instead of maybe a flying cloud or, or something in the smaller Bambi line, having a little bit of an upgrade. Now this one they have announced, and it's currently on their website, but this is a 23-foot oak trotter, which is new for, I guess these would be 2020s. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different. It was a blog style video that we haven't done too many of before, but I enjoyed doing it and enjoyed showing you around the Airstream grounds here and some of the different things that you can see. If you'd like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already and make sure you hit the bell so that you get notifications of new videos. Thank you and we will see you down the road. Bye.